Joanna. As I reflected on my life and how I got to today, I can't help but feel like everything I've been blessed with is the product of other people's willingness to simply take a chance on me. The biggest example is my parents. 25 years ago, they were silly, and some may say foolish enough, to listen to a six-year-old boy talk about how he wanted to be a doctor when he grew up, and they took him seriously. They left the comforts of their family and home behind, came to a country where they didn't, God, I didn't even cry. <laughs> came to a country where they didn't know anyone and started from the bottom again in order to give me a better chance to fulfill my dream. It's hard to believe we finally made it to this day Can I hold it? after the crazy year this has been. But I could not feel more blessed or honored to be standing here next to you as your wife. Growing up, I always dreamed of marrying a man who supported and challenged me to be my very best self, but also loved me for me. And every day I feel so lucky that that man is you. When we first met, I liked you because you were and still are beautiful and smart. But the reason I love you is because you are kind, considerate, generous, passionate, forgiving, somehow simultaneously laid back, but also a little bit intense when necessary. And you're so incredibly loyal to those that are fortunate enough to be in your inner circle. You've been my protector even when I've sabotaged myself with my own klutziness or spazziness. And you've taught me how to stand by someone through thick and thin. How to join our lives together into one and how to unite our families. I promise to show that same loyalty and care to you, to love you, to protect you, to stand by you in the good times and the bad, and to honor you every day of my life. I promise I will always consider how my actions will impact you. I promise I will work effortlessly to bring a smile to your face. I promise when this pandemic is over, we will resume what was your and now our life's ambition of visiting places all over the world that have copious amounts of flowers. I promise that I will like you always and I will love you forever. Shravan, I love you and I'm so proud and ecstatic to be standing here as your wife on our wedding day. In our first few months of married life, we have seen firsthand just how precious life is, and I cannot wait to spend all my days with you. No matter the adventure, life is always better with you, and I can't wait for the many more adventures ahead of us. Love you. I knew there was something special about Shravan when he came to dinner with six Kappas by himself <laughs> and laughed the whole evening answering intentionally prodding questions we had for him about his intentions for Joanna. <laughs> They've been dating a month. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Things got more serious and I couldn't be more thankful that Joanna had such a strong support system with her every day in residency. Someone there in the great, in the celebrations, and in the challenges. Shravan, I know you already know this, and we all do in this room, but Joanna, we just want to share with you that you're the most caring, selfless, generous, loyal woman that we know. We're all here in this room because we love you. You both mean the world to us in this room. We all love you so much and ask you to please raise your glass to that very married couple. Cheers. We love you. There's one person that I want to address here tonight, more than anyone, and that's Joanna. Joanna, as you already know, Chauvin has been one of my closest friends for the past 15 years. Yes, we're that old. And we've gone through so many good times, sad times, ups and downs, but one thing has been constant throughout, and that is Chauvin's loyalty. He personifies loyalty to a T. He expects nothing in return and will always have your back. Essentially, what I'm saying is that you can be as mean as you want, Joanna, and you still have loyalty. Uh, one thing is for sure, if Shravan shows all this loyalty to his friends, I can only imagine what type of loyalty he would show to his forever plus one, his partner in crime, 
and his soulmate. If everyone can raise their glass one more time, I'd like to congratulate Shravan and Joanna. Cheers, guys. We all know how beautiful she is, how smart she is, and uh, she compliments Shravan very well. You guys are made for each other. And I'd like to propose a toast for the bride and the groom for uh, a life filled with fun and happiness. Cheers to the Nadellas. I think I